Hello everyone, welcome to our visual art uh, program. So I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you some, this is my, some of my textile art. I'll teach some textile class, show how you can uh, put a painting on your blue jeans. And I did it with uh, fabric paint and acrylic paint. You heat set it, you can throw it in the dryer for about 10 minutes and it won't come out at, at all. Once you wash it, it'd be like, you'd be like a walking art gallery. Also, it's an old, an old jean jacket. I'm trying to figure out what to do with, do with it. So I just painted a jazz a scene on it, jazz scene. It's like wherever art, you can paint t-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, I was doing sweatshirts, and cut the sweatshirts up the middle and make your collar, a collar and jacket out of it for the summer. So once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kimberly Wright. If you do not consent with your, to your face being shown on this YouTube channel, please turn your camera off before we continue the virtual, the second half of the virtual art show program. I don't want to have anything I want to show, Mr. Coleman. Hello. Hello there. You got anything you want in the creative images you got at home? You, you've been painting while you've been. You got the mute on. So I just wanted to show you all, Miss Janetta and everyone. This is the piece of the straws that were infused side by side. Oh, yeah. And so I did a layer of them side by side. And as you can see, I put another row on top for going the opposite way, mm -hmm. vertical and horizontal. And so I just put the, the uh, iron down on really slow so they wouldn't roll around. So again, this piece, you could roll around and make uh, vases or vases and different materials, uh, different projects. All you have to do is be creative. So, and this is how some of the other pieces look that were infused. This is the blue and white. Oh, that's mm -hmm. pretty. Yeah, it is. I like that. This was yellow and orange, uh, green. Like, did mm -hmm. I know my colors? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you, you know, I cut some of the earrings out of this. That's why the circles are missing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> also, in my, uh, my construction, I, by using little bits of paper, I cut up several designs, shaped circles, and drew, drew my base. And I just kept adding on uh, pieces of paper. And what I did by my board, I sprayed my board with gold, tally gold, and silver. That's nice. Rock, and then put them together. So you, you can buy paper like this. The board's already done that way. But mm -hmm. the boards are very expensive. It's about $40 by 40 by 60. And I got 30, 40 by 60 white board for $12 in payment. So doing the work yourself could save you money. And yes, I like that. And I got some napkins and this was paste napkins on the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Make it yes. look like the old fashioned uh, weed the grandma had. On yeah, her, on right. The lace, the lace. The lace. It's it's like lace, yeah. And they used to they used to start, you know it. Of course I wow. tell my age in a minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also and this is the same kind of technique by using dancers. I got some of the Avenated dancers, dance pictures when they was here and mm -hmm. cut them out. Mm -hmm. And I kind of tinted the faces and so the flow of the background and this way give that idea of a nice little flow on it. Okay. Nice, very nice. I like that. So yeah. I'll throw, you, know, you ain't got to throw nothing away. Look in your junk box. <laughs> also, <laughs> Also, you can use family pictures. Cut some of your pictures. Oh, yes. Kids yes. Pictures, put them on you car can see it. And, and put 
flow on two dimensional and like yes. they're, floating, they're floating on the pitch. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I like that. Yeah, I like that. So with the recycled uh, plastic containers, this was an arm and hammer bottle. It's going to be used as a planter. The plant, the soil in the plant is going to be repotted here. Going to get a small cacti or something. Mm -hmm. I created the flowers and the grass with paint pens or paint markers. Oh, and I nice. did I like spray that. paint it white. Mm -hmm. This is the handle of the bottle. I cut the basic, the actual lid off. And so you can use the handle it's to cute. water the yes, plant. It is. Root, mm -hmm. water it, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So nice. This is another one, but it's larger that I created. It's a it's swan. It's pretty. With a flower mm -hmm. behind it. And the material on this is all puff paint. So okay. it's raised. That's why my hand is going over mm -hmm. it. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. And I haven't finished the other side yet, but it okay. looks even beautiful plain. Yes. So this is going to have a plant in it as well. And I have an even larger one, but this doesn't have the watering spout. This is for maybe some art supplies, pencils, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. This is the Sankofa bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so we got to know where we come from before we know where we're going. Mm -hmm. Right. What did you use to cut that with? So I used an X-Acto knife to puncture it. Mm -hmm. And then I used actual pair of scissors because they're really easy to cut. They're okay. very thin. It doesn't seem like it. But however, if you do continue to use the X-Acto knife, be very careful. OK. I and like this those. particular piece is the bottom. As you can see, one of those large detergent bottles and I'm just going to use it as a decorative piece for the wall. It's, mm. It is a scarab. Nice, and I plan on cutting pretty. some holes in it here to place a LED type of candle in there so that the light yes. can shine through. Yes. And, eat. and although usually on the scarab you have the body of the beetle here mm -hmm. and on the back there was uh, some Egyptian uh, hieroglyphics that said that kept someone's name or something my i'm gonna put my hieroglyphics on the side oh so okay. this was also done with um puff paint okay yes that's really pretty i like that thank you also mm -hmm. i have a class called art appreciation this one is jazz pictures i painted for art appreciation and we i used ah. to take me called uh not the dot technique, but I use a sash, sash. That's how I did all these tones, overlap, uh, sashes, and different colors. And you keep working with it as much as you can, if you want to. But that's the whole idea. Of this is just using one style of, of art. And just this set with mix, overlapping colors oh, and tones. Okay. Is that acrylic? Acrylic paint. Yeah. And also, a class I did with two colors, uh, two colors. Uh, Art appreciation. I just use Vallejo blue and white. Like and that. I have, and that's kind of yeah. the tones of, of, of that color. And you see mm -hmm. what I did with this. I use a puff paint to make make a lace like uh, scar. Mm hmm. Yes. How long does it usually take for that puff paint to dry? Uh, it used to take about. I use a hair dryer on a lot of things. It takes about a few minutes. Oh, okay. Dry. But okay. it does dry naturally, maybe 30 or 40 minutes. And those, that, that, that lace looking design, did you do that or is that fabric? I did. Oh, nice. I, Very nice. I used about three different patterns and just kept the patterns going on different levels. What's puff paint? Uh, puff paint is acrylic paint, but it's, uh, as you add heat to it, it rays a little bit. Oh, right. Got a, a um, okay. They got some paint, paints you use for detail called liner paint. But puff paint is just a little thicker. Okay. And puff paint comes in tubes where 
with a, a pointed tip where you can apply the lines as detailed as you'd like. However, although you can use heat to make it raise, you can let, allow it to dry as it is and it'll still give you some raised texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Anyone else want to show some of that artwork? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. It's, okay. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Janetta, are you about to show something? Yes. If you yes, yes. See. Let's see. Uh oh, fingers on the. Oh, we got to flip it around. Okay. Can Ooh. you see that? Yes. Oh, nice. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. That is my um, my Nefertiti door hanging, mm -hmm. and it is made out of um, poster board. Okay. Mardi Gras beads, Christmas ornaments, and lots of flowers. I have butterflies and dragonflies and a scarf on that one. And that hang that was hanging on my front door. And then let's see. Uh, this is this is the one that I'm working on right now. Can you see that one? Yes. Mm -hmm, yes. Oh, I like that. I love your designs. Yes, very nice. Your work table look good. Mm -hmm. Clean and organized. Looks nice. It does. I like those colors and designs. Yes. Sure. Like the pattern. That's made out of um, the wrapping paper for um, when you used to mail stuff off, you wrap the box up. Oh yeah, the packaging paper. Yes, and it's made out of that. It's Sharpie markers, acrylic paints, um, and lots of glue. And um, the other stuff is... Um, what kind of glue did you use, Elmer's? I use regular, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get back on the Elmer's glue. And I used uh, Mod Podge to give it a shine. Mod Podge gloss. No, you know what? It's actually Mod Podge uh, matte. Matte. Was yeah. it matte? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find the gloss, so I have the Mod Podge um, matte. Okay. On there. And it's oh, I'm not finished with that one yet. It looks like I sit up late at night and a person comes to my mind and I just start drawing them and cutting them out. That's good. That's creative energy there. That's nice. nice. Yeah. Create creative energy slash insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I understand that completely. Yes, yes. Well, I have a cardboard box that I created. I can't see this. I actually just slashed some paint on there red and oh nice yeah. some of my favorite colors which is red gold and green mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. i placed the rolls on the top with some little paper butterflies so i Pretty. just basically repurposed a box to use to put anything in probably some jewelry mm -hmm. that's pretty it was a box I that just, something yeah. else that I received came in, but however, you know, my making something out of nothing class, I'm always repurposing or upcycling something. Mm -hmm. okay. I have um, I have some dolls I was making. Yes, ma'am. And they, it, it, I, was, I made this about maybe eight years ago. Okay. And they were the uh, depicting the uh, African maids back in the day with the head uh, rag on. Uh, she was a laundry worker. And uh, that's pretty. I, made, I think I've made about 15 of these. It's a bottle and it's filled up with uh, small rocks. So you can mm. use it as a doorstop or uh, anything you want to use it for. And uh, I made the uh, out of fabric and um, just a, a, a pop bottle, a big, a, the large pop, pop bottle. Wow. Okay. And uh, I've got about 15 of these all over the house. That, and, looks, uh, that looks very beautiful. Thank you. And you then, got skills. You got skills. 
And then um, this was a picture I did uh, with fabric and acrylic mm. paint. Um, Very nice. I don't know if you can see her. See her better. Right color. there. How pretty. And I love that. that dress. And the one that I'm wake, working on now for the last <laughs> three years has been this one. This is yarn and acrylic and fabric. That's beautiful. That looks gorgeous. Yes. Very beautiful. And Very yarn. Do you have a title for that one? Uh, the sisters. Okay, sisters. That's nice. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Anybody else have some art? This, this is my last one. Okay, yes, ma'am. This one I did in acrylic, black and white. It was just a silhouette of a couple. And wow. Uh, it was an old canvas I had, so I painted it black and then put the uh, white silhouettes on there. It looks really Pretty. beautiful. Thank you. I, lo I Thank love you. the, I love the emotion of the contact in the eyes and the hand. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Brad, you have anything to show today? Cool. <laughs> Ms. Bradley, you have any art you want to share a show today? So don't forget that we will be having a virtual art show at on the last Tuesday of every month. So if you want to um, tell any one of any of your the other seniors about the show that possibly don't know, if, or you want to get some more pieces together to showcase, please feel free. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. So I have another piece here. It's called Back in the Day, and it's a collage piece of a lady with an afro. That is gorgeous. And it is collaged with all magazine papers. Wow. Okay. So that is beautiful. That is pretty, Kim. Beautiful. Thank Do you hang those up in your home or you just have them for display? Um, I mostly have them for display because, you know, an artist's house is already, sometimes I revamp the house and take some stuff down and put other things up, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's full of art already, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just it's just, it. just, just like a museum, they have different uh, exhibits. Exhibits, yeah. Right. That, yeah. You yeah. Have yeah. Those. That's right. That's that's how you yes. call it. It's exhibits. That's right. And sometimes you uh, bring back some of the old, make it new again. That's right. 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 Was nothing. there any paint on that piece, Kim? Was there any paint on it? No paint at all. There were all magazine pieces okay. that were clipped out, and I make sure to continue to piece them until I don't have any background. And actually, this is the piece that inspired it. Did you see that lady over there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So this is where I got the image from oh. to do my actual lady. That's That's beautiful. Beautiful. So I just decided to incorporate her as well. That's awesome. That's wow. beautiful. Oh, okay. goodness. Wow. Yes. So I have a question about your art, um, the art show, the last Tuesday of every month. Yes, ma'am. So is that both in both classes, your class and Jamal's class is a Yes, okay. it's gonna be from ten to about until about ten twenty-five and then we break so that you can sign off and sign on to Jamal's class. Okay. So it'll be from, then from ten thirty to about ten fifty five, something like that. Sounds good. Yes. Yeah. This is another question. Okay. Yes, Ms. Bradley. Jamal, I couldn't mute myself um the first paint, the one with the guy playing the musical instrument there you said it was a sesh method of painting that highlight behind him oh, did you say yeah, it was yeah. a, what method yes oh, it's, it's what he's called it's technically called a dot technique I, dot? I a dot like oh dot he said dots like pointillism uh -huh. But when he was saying slash, I like, oh, slash okay. the paint. Yeah. A, uh -huh. a, oh, I see. Okay. Thank breast, you. Small flat breast. So instead of putting dots, I, I slash the 
over oh, that cross on top of it. Oh, oh, yeah, I came from dark okay. to light. That's when I got the light to you know, then I came from light to dark. So all those things oh. come in like that. Like, and, okay. and let me say, he's not saying just slash the paint, like to throw it per se, because you have paint everywhere. He means just using that type of stroke in the technique, like okay. a slashing technique. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, thank you. That's a beautiful painting. All of them. Yes. All right. This one piece I'm doing, and this is going to be, it's just a cover. This is a cover for a large pillow. I mean, hmm. uh, that's oh, pretty. I like that. I mean, yeah. Several pillows. So you put on your couch and put around the house. So you have uh, artwork all around. And you can, it can, it can, it can be you know, laid on, it can be washed. But uh, this will be, and you can do it several <laughs> ways. You can put, you can put it direct on the pillow, or make the pillow. Oh, you can just attach it to to a pillow. This is a large. You put it closer. Hmm? Oh yeah. You might not be able to see that, but this is canvas. It's okay. on canvas, some cut canvas, and he said he's going to incorporate it with other cloth to make pillows. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, that's going to be really so. That's a, he was saying that's another way of incorporating art in your home through. Mm -hmm putting the actual painting on the pillow. Right. Jamal, what size is that? What size uh, is that? Well, I was being creative on this one. It's like a 20 by 22, 22 by 24. And I was making small pillows to, to go with it, with women and different kind of designs. Mm -hmm. So I was just trying to get some, some real big pillows and I'll make some, some tiny ones to match. OK. Yeah. A great idea. It'll be just a art piece. And you mm -hmm. use the chair as your, your easel or your frame. Right, nice. I like that. Jamal, could you take that and like, even though you're using it, like, as, like maybe um, transfer it to something else to make, you know what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't. Oh, yeah, you can. You can show it on a jacket. I used to do swing coats. And I used to get doing like this and then sew them, sew them to a jacket, mm -hmm. on the back of a jacket. So mm -hmm. you'd be walking, a walking gallery. My whole idea was my art, you can use it different ways. So and I, and I use a, uh, you can use a different kind of cloth. This cloth thing, I had a lot of linen, a mixed linen. So I decided, why am I going to do all this linen? So I used to paint it on it. I tell them people they can attach it uh, to an outfit. So, so many ways you can do it. This, so I just decided to do a pillow, a very large pillow. I did some pillows once before, so I don't see how I go with that. No, I was thinking if you took that and you could, uh, you would have, you could make a lots of pillows. I mean, like you know what I'm saying? It's like you. That's that's like the what you call it, the template or something, and then you could just. Some kind of way transfer say say if more than one person wanted that pillow <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like <laughs> you can get a print done from any type of business that are doing prints on fabric right so that's what i'm saying and then have them duplicate right. prints that'd be really good yes yeah that's, that's what i was color. thinking yes. okay okay oh, that's what i was getting at what else could you do with that besides taking that for just one one time you know you could Yes, ma'am, because you do have people always wanting to yeah, have, have the same piece that you've already done. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, What else could you do with it? You know, okay, that's it. That ain't that wall hanging. You put a, you make a wall right, hanging. Right, yeah. You put, uh, yeah. Lots of, I mean, that's beautiful. I can see off behind it and, and, and people wanting it, you know. Make quilt. You make a quilt out of also. Oh, you can okay. build other pieces around the quilt. Mm-hmm. So don't be shy, young people. Open up your hearts and your creativity and get to work to make something beautiful for our next art show. And please remember, most of all, be creative. Being creative means that you are taking risk to create something new and unusual. And we will... Um, if there aren't any more questions, we will see you the next time on our regular classes. But however, for the, our next uh, art virtual art show will be um, the last Tuesday of next month. Thank you very much.
Okay, thanks. Thank you. The whole thing is on me to all participate. Thanks for sharing your art. Have Thank really you for sharing yours. You inspired us both. Thank you so much. Glad okay. to be here with you both. It was a oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful experience. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for all the beautiful art.